Well, for more on the Raj trial, we are joined by Dave Pitney lawyer and white collar defense specialist James DeVita. DeVita represented former Tyco CEO Dennis Kozlowski in two criminal trials. And Jim, great to have you back with us. Good to be here. What do we read into this five days so it's far? It's difficult to read too much into it. These are complex charges, there are extensive charges. Uh, yeah, I think it does show that the defense has uh, raised issues for the jury to consider and to uh, analyze the evidence carefully in order to reach a decision. But I don't think it's, uh, I think it's too soon to read too much into it one way or the other. Uh, on average, how long do these deliberations take? Oh, some can go much quicker than this, uh, but in a case of this complexity where there are serious defenses that have been raised, uh, I don't think it would be unusual for it to spill over into next week. Uh, it would not be unusual for it to take two weeks, which okay. is what it took in, in Kozlowski trials. In Kozlowski's trial, right, two weeks, and the last one, or the second one, ended in a guilty verdict. Yes, it did. Um, if it goes beyond two weeks, does that tell you a bit more? Well, I think it would be highly unusual for it to go beyond two weeks, but not unprecedented. And I think it would, uh, the longer it takes, the more it is likely that there's an impasse or a deadlock in the jury. That's, that's one of the rules of thumb. But I think that uh, if it goes beyond two weeks, uh, then you start wondering whether there will be able to reach a verdict. Uh, I think yesterday it was or the day before um, the jury did ask for, you know, they wanted to hear again some of these wiretap recordings. Yes. Uh, what does that tell you that they want to do that? Well, it tells you that they are uh, listening carefully to the uh, tapes and it is uh, significant in that that's the government's best evidence, I think, from what I've read. Uh, and the, uh, that may be a sign that the it government... Could be a bad sign. Could no? be a bad sign for the yeah. defense, but not necessarily, because part of the defense argument has been the government has taken bits and pieces of the conversations out of context and uh, misled you. He actually used that term, misled you as to the meaning of the conversations and the jury may be wanting to hear for themselves what the con a actual and full conversation is. So it's it's uh, not a good sign necessarily, but it isn't uh, entirely bad. How do you think John Dowd has done, the defense attorney? Well, he's a very experienced and uh, very capable lawyer. I think he's done a terrific job in creating issues for the jury to consider. Uh, the conventional wisdom going into this trial was that it was a slam dunk for the government, and I think that it has been anything but that. Mm. And I think that uh, there's, the strategy of the defense has been very effective, and you'll, you're seeing that in the length of time it's taking the jury to reach a verdict. Doesn't mean that they will necessarily uh, uh, reach a, a, an acquittal. Uh, it may mean that some charges they will except some they won't. It's to, like just too early to tell. Some may stick and some might not. Absolutely. Uh, is, this, is, is this a career-making trial for anybody here? Well, I think for the prosecutors. John Dowd has had an, a, an extraordinary career to begin with, so I think that it um, adds to that, but I think that the uh, prosecutors, particularly if they are successful in obtaining a conviction, will have uh, achieved something that... Certainly is one a, big success. Yes. Yeah. Jim, thank you.